Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? Matt Antonelli here answering your questions today. Today's question is on hitting coaches and pitching coaches at the major league level um, and I guess in the minor league level and exactly what do they do and how do they help players. So we'll get into that right now. Um, they serve a bunch of different purposes. I think the first thing that they really serve, especially at the major league level, is they're helping put together a scouting report, right? And so let's just say for hitters, for instance, you know, when you show up at the ballpark for the first game of a series, let's just say that we're playing against the Boston Red Sox. When you show up at the clubhouse, there's going to be a packet at your locker, right? At least that's how it was when I played. Maybe now they put it on iPads. I'm not sure. But when I played, there was a packet at your locker. And so you get in there and you have the packet. And it's going to basically tell you everything that, about the team that we're playing, right? So from a pitching perspective, it's going to tell you who you're, who you're facing that day. You know, who the starters are going to be every single day, kind of what their repertoire is, how often they throw each pitch, you know, their tendencies. Um, it's going to give you a, basically a scouting report on every single pitcher um, that you're going to face. It's going to go through the bullpen guys. And so you'll have really no questions when it comes to no matter who they throw at you, you're going to have some background information. And then you can start to kind of put together um, your plan. From a defensive perspective, as an infielder, it's going to list, I'm going to get a list of basically um, the guys that we're facing and kind of where they hit the ball, depending on the pitcher that we're facing and where they want us to position ourselves defensively. So, you know, for the leadoff hitter, it may tell me to play slightly pulled for him. The next guy, it may say that he likes to hit the ball to the opposite field on the ground, right? So I'll, every hitter, I'm going to position myself where it tells me. I'm not just going to go out there and just say, yeah, I think I'll stand over here this time. I don't think I'll go over here for this time. It's basically telling me the numbers and where I need to position my, myself, okay? So those are the main things that it's going to tell you from that perspective. If you look at a pitching coach, pitching coach is going to do kind of the same exact thing for the pitchers, only the opposite. So they're going to talk about the, the strengths and, and weaknesses of the hitters, the other team, how we're going to approach them, you know, what we're going to throw in certain counts. And so they're going to go through all of that stuff with those guys. So that's one of the biggest things that a coach does, especially at the major league level. It's a lot of the scouting reports and kind of how we're going to attack guys and all that stuff. So I think they help put that together. Now, nowadays, you know, a lot of that stuff, because it's, uh, there's um, a lot of um, analytical stuff going on, a, a lot of the stuff will come from the front office and from, um, you know, a department that's working much more with the numbers, right? So although the hitting coach and the pitching coach and stuff may have some uh, things that they personally put in there, they're also getting a ton of numbers and they're going to have to sift through those numbers and decide, you know, what works and what doesn't and, and where can it help us and all that stuff. So they're working not just on what they've seen, but also on the numbers that they're getting from, um, you know, whoever's sending them to them. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is, what is the coach going to do? And this is the part where probably people think about more often is, um, you know, during your, your routines, getting ready for the game, putting in your work, working on your swing. Let's talk about from the hitting perspective again. You know, so every time I'm hitting, whether it's off a tee or front toss or BP or whatever, the hitting coach is watching me, right? So he has an idea of kind of what my swing looks like and what, what, uh, is, what it feels like when things are going well. You know, what am I doing when things are going well? What am I doing when things are not going well? And he's just kind of a, a second set of eyes, or I guess a first set of eyes since I can't see myself. To just let me know how things are looking, if he notices anything off, um, and then we can go back and forth, right? So as a hitter, I like to use videotapes so that I can kind of see what I'm doing, but then it's also nice to have another set of eyes on me um, because they're going to see me every single day, right? And so they're trying to figure out, again, mechanically, what do I need to do? What do I do when I'm really successful? And try to keep me there for as long as I can. And they're going to be in there working with me. They're going to be the ones flipping to me. They're going to be a lot of the times either the one throwing BP to me or the one watching me from the cage. If you've seen, you know, batting practice at the major league level, the minor league level, you've got that turtle or that shell around where the, where the uh, hitters are hitting in. A lot of times you'll see people standing around that. Those are the coaches, you know, so your hitting coach is usually sitting there watching every swing that you take, okay? So they're going to help you out with that. And same thing with the pitching coach. So the pitching coach is watching every bullpen that a pitcher throws, right? So they're out there in the bullpen, you know, but maybe not every bullpen, but they're watching a lot of the bullpens. They're talking about mechanics. What do you feel like? What are you doing? What are you thinking? Right? And so they're helping with all of that stuff, just like a, um, a hitting coach would do. Right? Then when the games are going on, same thing. The hitting coach is watching the game. They're watching for your approach and what you're thinking, what the game plan is. Pitching coach is watching, again, how you're throwing guys and, and what pitch you're throwing in certain counts and what pitches isn't working that day or what is. And they're going to kind of help guide you along. Right? They're going to talk you in between innings. 
hitting perspective. Maybe it's like, hey, you know, this guy's really working you over here. Like maybe we should think about doing this. Maybe we should think about driving the ball this way. You know, this pitch doesn't look like it's working today. Maybe we should eliminate that pitch. Maybe we should look for this pitch. Um, or it's just asking you questions like, what were you looking for there? You know, what were you thinking, right? And they're just trying to kind of help you approach wise. Pitching coach, same thing. They're looking at what you're throwing. You know, maybe this pitch isn't working today. Maybe, hey, we're going to stick with this pitch. Maybe, hey, let's go to this pitch or let's try this side of the plate or we should work this guy more over here. Um, you know, so it, a lot of the scouting report that goes in beforehand, um, you're going to use a lot of, the, of that. But sometimes things will switch during the game, right? Sometimes a coach may see something and say, hey, let's, let's go this way with it. Let's try this um, or whatever. So they're there to kind of help you um, during that time, making some in-game adjustments and doing things during the game. Um, and so that's pretty much, those are, the, I, I think, the main, the main jobs of, of the hitting coach, pitching coach, you know, base running coach, defense coach, wh whatever the coach is. Um, for me, those are pretty much the main responsibilities. Um, and that's the way they're going to help all, all their players during the season. So thank you again for the question. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Um, check out the description box below. I've got a bunch of stuff down there for you guys. Uh, check out our Instagram, Antinoli Baseball, our Twitter feed, Matt Antinoli 9. We're posting videos all the time for you guys. And that's all I got, guys. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.